Hello viewers, and welcome back to my playthrough of Me the Robinsons the game on the Wii. Levitation ray in hand, Wilbur prepares to storm Magma Industries. Yes, but uh, before I go back to Magma Industries, there's something I want to show you. So, in the last part, I got, uh, well, I bought one of the new carrying capacity upgrades. In fact, I also got several more of them. And from off camera, I transmogrified all of the carrying capacity upgrades, so now it's pretty much maxed out. And at maximum, I can now hold up to 200 of each component. And I currently have enough to buy one upgrade, or rather one cheat that I've been waiting forever to transmogrify. And that is the All Blueprints Cheat. And yes, it does give you, it indeed gives you every single blueprint that's in the game, so Let's do it. And now, the next thing that I want to transmogrify, after I get more components for it. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to activate it first. Hopefully I can do that from the game itself and not the main menu. That's more like it. So you can see that there's an invincibility cheat, as well as, well, there's the maximum carrying capacity cheat, but there's no need for that anymore since I already maxed out my capacity. But this one right here called Max Components, this one gives you infinite components, so you can continuously transmogrify things without having to go back and collect more components after that. But since I, well, I used up a majority of my components, I now need to go around and collect some more again, you know, so I can get that max components cheat, so I'm going to need to cut this part. Be right back. Alright, so I now have enough components to get that max components cheat. Max components, you're all mine. So now let's get that enabled. And now, I no longer have to grind for any components to transmogrify everything else. I can do so right now. Here I go, transmogrifying the rest of the blueprints that are in the game. Gonna max out my health. So there are five health upgrades, while there were only four for the ca carrying capacity. So it wasn't until now that I started upgrading my energy level. Well then. So let's now... Get, give my charge ball glove energy. As well as my disassembler. Plus its efficiency. All this does is allow Wilbur to collect more components when disassembling stuff. And this one gives you infinite help, or... No, no it doesn't. This one does. Yeah, I just transmogrified that even though I don't need it. So now all of Wilbur's gadgets will... Uh... Okay, well, just gonna continue on. This one is the infinite energy cheat. I got all the charge the charge ball quartz, and I'm, I'm about to get all the opponents too. 
Oh, and I do plan on showing every charge ball court and opponents after I complete the main game. It'll pretty much be a bonus video for this playthrough. Now I have all the concept arts and action figures. I'll show up all the action figures too. And I guess the concept arts, even though most people don't care for that. And there are also different kinds of charge balls you can get. Like when I got, I already got the snowball ball. <laughs> Why did I just say ball twice? But, oh wait, this is a snowball. But there's also a paintball, a meatball, and a, a blue dart ball. And there's also a charge ball shirt for Wilbur to wear. Now let's get that pizza shirt. After I do all this, I'm going to go back to the main menu so I can equip a different shirt and hat for Wilbur. Going to give him a space helmet. An ant helmet. And the last one should be the big head. Or no, the volcano helmet is next. And this is the last blueprint. I transmogrified everything. See, nothing left. But now it's time for me to go back to the main menu to equip as many upgrades and cheats as I want. And you know what, there was something I still haven't mentioned yet. One thing that sucks about this game is that it has no autosave feature. So you have to manually save every time you want to quit. And sometimes I forget to do so. So I end up turning the game off, only to find out I didn't save my progress and I have to do a certain level over again. Levitation ray in hand. Wilbur prepares to storm. So I'm just going to activate the maximum Magma health, and I'm not going to activate in invincibility. I don't want to be uh, too much of a cheater. And I'm not going to enable infinite energy either. So the charge ball color that I want, I think I'm going to pick the paint ball. That would definitely be Laszlo's kind of ball, while the meat ball would be Gaston's kind. So let's get Wilbur. Yeah, why not? I'll, I'll go with the pizza shirt. And I want to see what the space helmet is like. Okay, I'm ready now. Okay, well actually, there is one more thing I want to show off at the Robinson house before I go back to Magma Industries. Remember back in the first Robinson house level where I chal challenged Uncle Gaston to get the garage code? Well, you can go back to the cannon room and challenge him to another, well, cannon challenge. Also, you see Wilbur Space Helmet? Kind of cool, I guess. So just talk to Gaston to start a new challenge. So at last I find you, nephew. You may have bested me at our last encounter, but not this time. I'm kind of busy right now, Uncle Gaston. Oh, I... I see. My words have intimidated you. Never. Then let the challenge begin. Yeah, it's just going to get this one over with. Just do the same as you did before. Keep doing the dodge roll. But now this time there are two buttons you got to hit. And I think when you play this a third time, there will be three buttons, most likely. It says I got a new blueprint, even though I didn't really do so, since I already transmogrified every blueprint in the game. Also, this right here is the paintball ball. Or, why did I say that? The paintball charge ball. I guess I'll say it like that. But now, it's time to go back to Magma Industries and get the time machine back from Emperor Stanley. Now that the Ant Queen Lizzie is out of the way, all that's left now is Stanley to hopefully finally get the time machine back. But first, just thought I'd show you a little something. If you go all the way down here, you'll find another disassembler chest, which has concept art. Right, so let's now take this lev ray for a test drive. You just gotta approach this huge gate right here, and use the library on it. There's also a new enemy right there. 
uh, let me scan this gate first. That's something you can do in Magma Industries. A bridge gate. Yeah, sure. And there it goes. You use the lead ray to open it. And this creature right here is an eruptor. I better get my charge ball back out. You just hit them with the charge ball twice and it makes them explode. Now, this right here, that's an eruptor delivery system, while this... Oh, come on. I know I can target this thing. That's it. It's a boiler lock, and you, you need to destroy it by detonating these eruptors at it. Oh, wrong direction. Go away, you dummy raptors. Oh, great. There's two, mo two more of these boilers. Gotta destroy two now. And now, after you cross this bridge here, you'll get a cutscene. Halt, you meddlesome troublemaker! Emperor Stanley commands you! Rogue theft, uh, uh, stealing guy shall not enter Magma Industries. What? You stole from me. So hand over my time, uh, my harmless flying car, and I'll be on my way. <laughs> nice try. The time machine is mine now, and no one gets in here unless I say so. Except through the pizza delivery hatch. Here's the triple supreme thin crust for his excellence, the Emperor. Uh... Pay no attention to that. You will cower before my awesome power! You know, we should really talk this out face to face. I'll be up in a few minutes. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Emperor Stanley doesn't do personal interviews. I, uh... Yeah, and the cutscene just ends right there. Oh, got new enemies here. The, the Magma Industries Hotblade Leader. Okay, now, to deal with these guys, you first blast them with the lev ray, and then hit them with a charge ball. And you just repeat the process until they explode. Oh, come on, enough of this. Well, your buddy's destroyed. Okay, what's going on with my charge ball? I tell you, the aiming in the Wii version is so weird and... Okay, well, hit it that time. Okay, I feel like the aiming is glitched right now. I'm trying to throw my charge ball forward, but instead it's being launched upward for some reason. Also, I thought I enabled that, uh, maximum energy... Oh, wait, wait a minute, never mind, I... I, I just remembered I, I didn't even enable it. I, I said I, I said I wasn't gonna to gonna do so. Okay, so I can push this platform. You're supposed to go that way to get Sinew, but I'm gonna go this way first. One of these platforms can be, le be levitated with the Levray, which is this one. I actually don't remember what you'll be finding this way. It could be just a disassembler chest, maybe, or perhaps a happy glove seal. Oh, really? Hey, wait a minute, is Wilbur... Wilbur's wearing the bowler hat again, but I equipped the space helmet. Why is he wearing the bowler hat now? I just realized that.
Okay, so I was right that there's a Happy Club seal here, but there's no need to interact with them anymore. And I'm not going to put up with these robotic bozos either. Sorry I wasted time doing that, but now I'm going to proceed with the journey. Once again, gotta push one platform and then levitate another. Unless... Okay, I can already climb on this one. Okay, so I didn't need to push that other one after all, so... I, I, don't, I don't even see the point of that. Oh, look at that, Uncle Art is gone. Come on, just... Alright, fine, I'll go after this Eruptor first. Well, it's gone. Well, it looks like the aiming is wor working properly again. Come on, just blow up already. That's more like it. Oh wait, what did it say? Too heavy to lift. Well then, let's see if the disassembler can do the trick. And it can. Well, let's go down now. And I'm also gonna go back to the main menu and re-equip my space helmet. I didn't want that. I, I mean, I did want that. I mean, it's the bowler hat I didn't want. Okay, so uh, I instead decided to give Wilbur his Volcano hat, and also his Charge Ball shirt. And also, the Snowball Charge Ball. Okay, now, what you gotta do next is lure these Eruptors into these... Hold on. What are these called? An Eruptor Sucker. Wow. Now, the easiest way to knock these into the suckers is to use the Habit Gloves. You just clap them to knock them around without damaging them. And there are two more of these... Boiler Locks. Okay, so they are boilers. Right, well... That's one. Uh. Now it's time to make you go boom. Ah, you can scan this too. An Eruptor Spitter? My god. Emperor Stanley comes up with pretty lame names. And speaking of Boo, Emperor Stanley himself is also pretty lame. I just gotta say, he sucks as a villain. It seems like he barely knows how to operate his own gadgets. And even when he does, his gadgets seem, seem to not work properly. Just watch this cutscene, for example. To find your way into my lair, hmm? but you have only sealed your own doom. None can traverse my magma gauntlet of flaming flame. Well, someone must be traversing it because you and all your employees managed to get in. What? Well, yeah, 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 technically. Okay, giant molten wave of lava go. 
Uh, that's not, um... Okay, okay, minor glitch there. Uh, have to talk to IT about that. But try finding your way out of the room in total darkness! Oops, um, okay, where did that go? Ah, aha! Total darkness! What? Who puts emergency lighting in a... Uh, uh, I'll be right back. You see what I mean, people? Stanley sucks as a villain. Oh, and look at this. It's a giant statue of Stanley that you can scan. And also, tug, or I mean, uh, something you can pull on. It says that despite its size, it doesn't look too heavy. Well, it looks pretty heavy to me. Look how big it is. Oh, I didn't mean to scan it again. But, but, uh, you gotta pull the statue onto this pressure pad, which I accidentally stepped on. You see that? Wilbur's pulling on a giant statue, which looks heavy as heck. I mean, how can it not be so heavy with that size? Okay, let's just forget about it now. Oh boy, it's a disassembler chest, which I'm not gonna bother interacting with. Oh wait, there's another boiler here. You missed, you clumsy eruptor. But now, I must detonate you. Okay, uh, this door's not open yet. No doubt I gotta destroy another boiler on the other side of this room. Oh yeah, and there's another giant statue for you to put up on a pressure pad. See, there's that second boiler. Oh, and look at that, Wilbur's not even touching the statue. I mean, uh, I'm trying to... Yeah, you see that? His hands aren't touching the statue at all. He was pulling on air right there. My god. Okay, let's get this other boiler exploded. That eruptor is clearly allergic to snowballs. So now I gotta pull that lever, using the having gloves of course. Oh god, I'm supposed to be able to climb up here, but the game isn't letting me. Unless... Oh, that's right. One of, one of these platforms can be levitated. Okay, might as well scan it while I have the chance. Of course it's a Havoc lever. Of course the Hive had those too. Now to go back for that other lever. There are two more of those platforms over there that you need to use the lever ray on. And you do you do need to use them to get up to that platform up there to continue. Now when you hop over to this platform, it'll raise up. See? Like that. And now you gotta try to hit these platforms with the lev ray from up here. And unfortunately, there's no alternate aim mode for the lev ray. That sure sucks. Now I gotta try to aim at the closest platform. There it is. And, alright, I hit it. Oh, no, 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 you were supposed to jump, Wilbur. Okay, I'm just gonna wait until this platform lowers itself before I blast the other one. Oh, okay, it just killed me. 
the last time I played this, I let the platform go down, and I didn't die. Although, Suppy tells me that you're supposed to let save both these platforms at the same time, which isn't easy to do. Well, in the Wii version, anyway. In the PS2 version, I think it was much easier to do, and the game won't let me... It's not letting me aim at the first platform again. Okay, that's better. Oh, I hit the second one. That's it. Doing good. Alright, good. But now I gotta get this robot out of the way. Eat Snowball, you hunks of junk. Oh, jeez. Come on, enough of that. You need to chill. And also, die. Oh, jeez. And there goes that one, and that one. I assume I'm going down. Just gonna keep going down, just like in the hive. Now you gotta do all sorts of stuff in this room in order to continue. First, I better disassemble these things so I can get the eruptors in them. Complete. Yes, thank you. Which one of these platforms can be levitated? That would be this one. And I don't even need to push that other platform up to it. Okay, there's a boiler right there. Oh, it's a disassembler chest. But screw that. Alright, I need to go over there first. That's where you'll find the eruptors. <laughs> Don't mind me, eruptors. I'm just passing through here. No need to try to kill me, even though I'm gonna kill both of you. You two are going down to the lower floor. Also, this right here, it's some kind of transport tube. Let me just scan it real quick. Although the game's not letting me. Oh, screw it. You go inside there, you'll find another one of these. And you do gotta lure one of the eruptors into this one. Just gonna take out one of the boilers. That's one lock disabled. Now let's get this other one into the sucker. In you go. Now you need to go back through here. There's the eruptor. 
Oh, jeez. It's doing a different attack. I don't want to risk knocking it off this platform, so I'm just gonna make it chase after me. Ha, you bull. The Eruptor is now gonna... Well, there it is. Oh, already appeared on that side. That's where the other boiler is. Time for you to explode. Good. Time to continue. domain than I would have expected. But now you will fall for an eternity into my bottomless pit of death! <laughs> huh? They told me it would be ready last weekend. You two, destroy him! Boy, some pit of death you got here, Stanley. I should have expected this one would suck too. Oh, of course, these guys are faster than me. Hold still. Just... Come on, hit him! Well, I got one. Oh! Blast at me, will you? Oh my god, I keep missing. Uh... Hit it. Hit... Oh, right, good. Now just blow up. Blow up! That's better. Okay, this will be the last room before I face the next boss. Say hello to the end of the road. Behold! The invincible door. It's completely indestructible. No substance on Earth can even scratch it! Let's see you get past this one. Oh, we'll see, all right. First, let me just scan your quote-unquote indestructible door. You're right, the wall around it could be... Well, it could be pretty fragile. Just not to the charge ball or anything like that. So, that right there is what you need to... Launch these eruptors right at the invincible door. You just gotta hit that button first. Okay, it did work. And as you may have guessed, you gotta lure them into the sucker. Hey, eruptor, I'm right here. Come on, chase after me. You have some exploding to do. In the sucker you go. Now watch this. So the walls around the door are currently damaged, and you only have to do this twice. Well, first let me go this way. There may be another disassembler chest back there, and I also see a Havoc Glove seal. Okay, so there's no chest, but... Huh. I forget what's through that door. Well, actually, that may be a room with a disassembler chest. I can't exactly remember here.
Oh, what? Uh, okay, so I didn't have to interact with that to go up, only to make it come back down. You are not dropping, uh, dropping bombs at me. Now get into the sucker, you. There's that door that I unlocked from operating the console with the robots. Well, there's the disassembler chest. And that's it. Okay, well. Okay, well, you, get down there. But before you flew her into the sucker, you gotta hit that button again. Now you, get in the sucker, and take out that invincible door. Well, the door really was invincible after all, just not the walls around it. Okay, let's go take on Stanley. Alright Stanley, the jig is up! Give me my time machine! Ha, 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 ha. Behold! Prometheus! <laughs> Surely you can't doubt my abilities now! Careful! Stop! Forward! Forward! His molten fury will bring glory to my name! That thing will destroy the whole city! Silence! Ah! <laughs> I said silence! And once you're out of the way, I'll celebrate your demise with a thin crust pizza. <laughs> there used to be a problem with the toggle switch! No! <laughs> Well, apparently, Stanley's hover chair doesn't work very well either. But now it's time to take on his monster. And I'll admit, Prometheus does look like a bruiser. So it's this being you face, not exactly Stanley himself. But anyway, what you're supposed to do here, first Prometheus will do that slam attack, and then, after it makes the debris fall into the lava, you first gotta hit the debris with the left ray, and then, again with the Habit Gloves, which will hit Prometheus. Oh, I missed. Oh, God. Try this again. See, like that. After that, it'll start puking out lava, and you gotta make it puke the lava onto the, the chains on the platform. Doing so will burn the chains, and you gotta make it do it twice on each one. Really, the main goal of this boss fight is to burn off all four of these chains, and when you do so, the fight is over. And yes, hanging from the ledge is the best way to avoid that attack. And that's really all Prometheus does. He only has, basically only has two attacks. Now be an idiot, and burn off this first chain completely. That's one. Just repeat the process until all four chains are burned off. Remember, hit the debris with the lead ray, 
than to having gloves. Oh, there he goes with that spin attack again. Oh, and hey, I just realized I haven't scanned Prometheus yet. Well, of course it doesn't like things falling on it. Chain number two is about to be gone. Two down, two to go. Halfway through with the boss fight. As long as you keep running, Prometheus will never smash you. But of course, you also must watch out for the falling debris. Here we go again. Go on, keep doing your smashy smashy, and also missy missy. Oh, miss with the levery again. That's it. Chain number three, be gone. This'll all be over soon, Prometheus. Stanley will not be pleased with you at all when you fail to kill Wilbur. Not just two more melts of the last chain. Come on, hit it. That's it. Just one more. Oh, come on. On, let's just end this. Here we go. Burn off that last chain. Like an idiot. Like Stanley is. It's over.
So far, so good. Hey, kid! Can you get that ball? No! Sorry! I can't interfere or else I'll mess up the future! Okay, thanks! Hey! Great volcano! Ooh, nice ants! I gotta go. Hello, Lewis. That's him, Doris. No doubt about it. <laughs> Delightful. Wait! She's gonna blow! Help! Help! Carl, Help! I've lost him! <laughs> the bowler hat guy! <laughs> <laughs> we must be headed into the future. I'll be right there. Yes. No ants, no volcanoes. Now all we have to do is catch that bowler hat guy. He could be anywhere. This could be tricky. He could be any time. Yeah, this is going to be impossible. But what we do know is that he's not here right now, or... There, right now. That is a start. I'll search the timelines and see if I can track them down. It'll only take a few minutes. How many minutes? Oh, seven and a half. That long? I'm sifting through millions of alternate realities. What do you want What here? am I supposed to do for nearly eight minutes? I don't know. I've got timelines to scrutinize. Fly away, little monkey. Fly away. Yeah, sure, as if Wilbur is one of those flying monkeys from the Wizard of Oz. Okay, so, the future is back to normal, but Wilbur still has one last situation to deal with. Yeah, you all know what it is, to get the other time machine back from the bowler hat guy. But now that's going to be the end of this part, and the next one will be the final part of this, well, the main story anyway. I didn't mention that I'm going to put up a bonus video after this, showing all the char charge ball courts and such. But now... I'll see you all later in the last part where I finish the main story. Bye everyone.